What's up you guys, it's your host Galadon back with another exciting Clash of Clans video. A three star from Glider, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, let's get down to business you guys. Let's talk a little bit more because I think, I think there may have been some sort of leak, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and talk about what we do know first. And that is this post from the Supercell Forums moderator, the Great Lock, none other than. And right here, he's talking about things like the fact that there is no Town Hall 12. There are no level 13 walls. The update is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. It's going to be different than any other. But also, check it out. Either Lock is Canadian or something else is going on there. Okay, by now you guys know that there must be a boat involved. Either that or it's the biggest troll ever perpetrated on the Clash of Clans community. So a boat, it sounds like Canadian, but I'm thinking more it's like a ship. So let's get down to what we're talking about, what was in the thumbnail of today's episode, and that is this image right here. Craziness, this looks amazing. Now, I cannot confirm where this image came from, uh, but the art is amazing. The detail on this, is incredible. It's done in the Clash of Clans style and it's unique and it's it's hard to imagine that this was faked by somebody. If it was completely faked, it took them hours and hours and hours to do this. And uh, so let's take a closer look at this image and see what there is to see here. Okay, so the first and most obvious thing about this picture is the fact that many of the units are holding torches. Torches. So that really indicates one of three things. Either A, they are uh, pyromaniacs, B, it is evening time and they need the torches to see, or C, they're hunting down the beast from Beauty and the Beast. So let's zoom out one more time and now we take another look at the fact that, well, that is definitely not the sun. That is a moon. It is dusk. It is evening time. It is dark. And uh, that's significant. So I, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on there. So we've got the torches. We've got the moon up in the sky. It's dark outside. It's definitely a unique look, something we haven't seen before. Now let's zoom out again and check this one out. I don't know, you guys. Now, obviously, these units just completed a trek across the sea. But what is that on the barbarian's face? It looks like a starfish to me. So confirmed. Clash of Clans meets SpongeBob SquarePants. It's happening. Or, or not. All right, could just be sea life. I don't know. Okay, so let's zoom out again, and we are going to go focus on a different portion of the image this time. To the right of the hog rider, what is the goblin standing on? That looks to me like a skull, but the eyes look pretty unique. They look lit up like a purple glow. So that right there, I have no idea what that could be. Is that a giant skeleton? Maybe? Uh, is that some sort of new totem structure? Uh, I, I really don't know, but obviously something that is pretty unique to the game. Again, counting on you guys to help figure out what it is. Okay, back out and one more zoom in. I'm loving this, you guys. What is that right there? Between the barbarians, that almost looks like a horse's skull. I mean, it looks like you've got an ear there or something, a horn. Is it a unicorn? Are unicorns coming to Clash of Clans? Could it be? Or is it just a skeleton that is mostly submerged? That one, again, up to you guys to help figure it out. Okay, we're not done yet. We've got the most important part of this image, and that is, of course, the text. The text on this image has been translated for me through, well, secondhand information. I need you guys to help me out. But from what I've heard from a person who is fluent in Chinese, that this is the exact translation of this text. The top two lines read, Second Village, Night World of Extreme Speed. And then in the blue box below that, Unprecedented Huge Update. So... There you go, you guys. It is up to you to decide. I want to hear the community react to this image. Uh, is it real? Is it fake? Is it a troll? Is it a leak? Uh, when did the boat information first come out? That ship that was spotted? That wasn't on April 1st, was it? Uh, anyway, you guys, there's a lot of anticipation. The community is ready for an update, and no doubt uh, it has to be coming relatively soon. I can guarantee you guys this. The update is coming in 2017 but hopefully much sooner than the end of the year you guys know it's coming we know that the buildup is here and clash of clans facebook page recently posted this text 
And you can read right here, one thing that we can say is that this update will be different from any other update. It will be much bigger, bigger than Clan Wars. That is a huge statement right there. And also you guys have to realize how long has it been since we've seen a significant update to Clash of Clans. It's not like the team took a break. It's not like they took a vacation. They've been working behind the scenes for months. This is going to be an absolutely huge update. Again, you guys, let me know what you see in that image. Is there something else that you spotted that I haven't? I'm sure you guys probably will. Uh, what do you think? Is it a real image? Is it a fake? Did somebody spend a lot of time and money to come up with a replica of the Clash of Clans art? Or is this an actual leak? Uh, tell me again what the text is. If I got some of the words slightly wrong, I want to hear down in the comments what you guys say that exact text reads, including the text down on the bottom left. We didn't even go over that. So there is a lot to look at in this image, you guys, and there's a lot to anticipate for the update. I am super psyched about it. I am ready, and I've promised I will be making more Clash of Clans videos very, very soon. I just want this update to drop so I can make all sorts of videos that talk about Clash of Clans. So again, you guys, if you're diehard Clash of Clans fans, get ready, be excited. If you've left Clash of Clans because it wasn't as exciting for you, maybe this will bring you back. Do you have friends that never picked up the game? Maybe this will get them excited. You never know, you guys. It is huge, it is massive, and I will be giving you the information as early as I possibly can. I promise you guys that. So those of you that keep asking me on Twitter, in the clan, on global, in Facebook, whatever it is, I promise you, if you're subscribed, if you're following me, you will get the earliest possible verified information until then, it is up to you guys to decide, is somebody steering us wrong or is it smooth sailing to the next Clash of Clans update? You make your conclusions. Glider finishes up the three star. We finish up this episode, 39 trophies for Glider and a lot of anticipation for the Clash of Clans community. Thank you guys again, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Make sure that you stay subscribed. Like I said, you don't wanna miss out. Have a fantastic rest of your day, enjoy it. Get out there and in life as in Clash of Clans, do everything to the utmost. Make every attack a full attack. Gatling Gold, does this mean I'll have to come back and win Clash of Clans again? I'll do it.